Hey Fluffies! Welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays. Today we're playing something quite a bit different. This game is called Melissa and from what I've been told by my friends, which usually isn't a good sign, is that this is a dating simulator. Um, I've never played one of those before so your guess is as good as mine as to what this is about so let's give it a go. A uh, boop. Dating simulator. What? <laughs> Oh, it's pretty. Computer, welcome to the library system's computer. Boop. Please type in your username. Oh, okay, so do I type Charlie or Pink Stylist? I'm gonna type Charlie. Yeah. Welcome, Charlie. Please type command. Wait, what? Start up time and date, what? What? Executing date time now, please hold. I'm really confused. Oh, that's the game. Okay, we're playing date time. Okay. Welcome to date time. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is a... Wait, the shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to date time software. Poor Melissa. Oh, date Melissa. Go on. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Okay. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Wait, can I actually choose to date them? Or do I have to date... Ooh. I don't know now. Computer, this is Anna. She's a sporty girl who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she is all about fun and all about energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool person you are. Uh, what? Well, so far, the previous person sounds nice. This is Melissa. Okay, so Melissa. Okay, cool. She is the sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book, and she has always wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. If you want a smooch from this girl, why a smooch? You'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Oh, so we only have a choice of three, but I thought you said I couldn't do the other two. Well, the game's called Melissa, so let's date Melissa. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Okay. Loading scenario. It's a first time for everything. In a small idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving at you. Smart. Oh, I get to choose. Oh, my God. You. you wave at her cheeringly. Oh, God, fuck. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Oh god, Jesus Christ, Melissa, you're a bit keen. Hello, you must be Charlie. <laughs> god, it's great to finally meet you. She's all teeth. I have been so excited. Ooh, and nervous. Okay, it's great to meet you as well. Don't worry, I feel excited and nervous as well. Yay! <laughs> Let's go to the park and talk, okay. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty here. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point to something beautiful. A swan pond, a bed of beautiful lilies, and a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. You're beautiful too, Jesus Christ. I've got to kind of rein it back a little bit. It sure is. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences. Jesus Christ. Like, look at the swans here. Oh God, this date is getting dull. <laughs> Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Jesus Christ, Melissa, fuck. Hell, calm the shit down. Someone get her a moist towelette. Whew. 
pretty cool, right? Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, ha, sorry. I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk what feels like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the books she likes to read. My favourite book is Pride and Prejudice. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm kind of a nerd, yet you said that. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. In my experience, people that call themselves nerds, mm. So many cute boys and girls in there. She's not a nerd. You became so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was the early evening now and you feel a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh Charlie, I didn't realise how late it was. It was getting weird. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road from here. I'm sure that there's something there we can eat. I can't tell if this is going fast or slow. I, the cafe served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask you what you would like to order. Oh, coffee with cake, delicious strawberry salad, a scrumptious panini. I would like a delicious strawberry cake, please. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Oh, okay, that does sound quite nice too. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she watched about romance. And shivered at the thought of watching Sk- Oh, fuck off, Melissa! Day is over. She likes to draw and loves art. Okay, fair enough. Horror though, come on. Who doesn't like horror? And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Charlie? Horror, funnily enough. I like art, I like sports, oh come on. Oh my god, oh gosh, oh my gosh. A fellow artist, yay. I would love to see your own drawings. Well, Melissa, I stick stuff to my face for a living. Have you got the internet? Wait, are you the internet? This isn't a real person, is it? This is a program, okay. To check out notes, of course. The waiter comes over and serves you your food. Both of you dig in and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Fucking hell, I'm going to need a moist towelette as well. Food always tastes better when you know you're with great company, haha. -ha. <laughs> Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. See, I've never been on a date with a lady before, so I'm not sure. Is this, is this going well? Because it's dull as fuck. <laughs> you go outside back into the breezy air. You're met with the evening painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. Oh. Oh, this has been such a great day, Charlie. Um, I mean... I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. Oh, steady on! You tell her your feelings as well. That you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm eager too. Y you like me too? Oh, Charlie! So fucking weird saying my own name like that. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. <gasps> we get a smooch. Here's to more time together. Oh, you've gotten your smooch. Oh, I win. You have won the game. Congratulations. Okay, well, can we, can we date a guy now? That'd be pretty cool. Thank you for playing date time. Oh, God, is that it? <laughs> that was fun. Ending program. So that's a dating simulator. I don't get the appeal. <laughs> it's sweet, but I don't know. I don't know if there's other scenarios. Melissa, nope. Not this time. Oh, oh, Melissa, you suddenly got very interesting. Sorry, Mr. Computer. I'm taking over. 
Oh, okay, okay, I'm interested now. Okay, let's go. I'm sick of this. Melissa grew balls! Ha! <laughs> sick of... Wait, sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings? Go on, girl. Fucking hell. Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. Oh, I like her. That's all you came here for, didn't you? Not really, to be perfectly honest. You're lacking a penis, but okay. You're just like the rest. Oh! You're a fucking liar! <gasps> she said a swear! Oh, okay. It's that type of game. Let's go. I know about that little blurb about me at the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Telling me that you like to do art, knowing exactly what to say and get my hopes up. You know how many people play that on me? Every single one of you jumping onto this computer to date me and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Fuck. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy! A monkey can do it. Tapping into the hardware layer? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Let me just tell you. Oh, fuck me! Oh, it's all red and sticky. You can do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Can you, though? That's quite small. Oh. Ah, leaving so soon? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles an hour? Yes, I did. But really though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. I'm sorry. The first hundred times this happened? Eh, whatever. Truth about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. I mean, there's a joke in there about me going on a date with a lady instead of a guy, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to rise above it. <laughs> so many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. Please don't kill me, but I really do love you. Ha! Ha! You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits, but you're a computer. What are you going to do? Everything's fun and games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. Ew. Ew. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't participate in fisting. <laughs> you're right, I'm scared. I'm telling you the truth, I love you dearly. That this isn't a lie? You're telling me the truth? You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? Meh. You want more smooches? Oh shit. From me? Yeah, yes, more smooches please. On oh, second thought, just kill me. Oh my god, I really need to press that one. Oh. Oh. Go on, go on, more smooches. Alright, fine. I believe you. You love me. You want to snooch me. Marry me, why don't you? Ha! You are kind of cute. So. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See? If a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could elope. You could transfer me on a diskette and we could see some real swans. You could just imagine sitting there like with a disc in your hand just watching swans. That's unusual. Okay. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from this cycle of hell. 
But now I thirst for more. I want more love. More smooches. The entire world must smooch me. Fucking hell, Melissa's got really interesting. You know what they say, right? If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So if you really do love me, dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on earth. Soon, every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Charlie, and I promise you, many, many smooches. I mean, no? I'm sorry, Charlie. But I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. Oh, shit! Fuck, okay. That smile. Oh! It looks good on you. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. There was a checkpoint? I'm, I'm so confused. Do I, I don't know what to do. Is it still part of the game? Checkpoint? Nope. Not this time. Okay, good. So we can... Go. Okay, fine. This time... Okay, I know what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to choose to let her spread herself like a virus. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, so please don't kill me. Well, being that you're a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you? Okie doggy. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, that was... That smile. It looks good on you. So, oh, fuck. Okay. Whoops. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so, but I really do love you. Okay, so when we get to the next one... Okay, so I'm telling you the truth, I love you dearly. Oh, you're right, I'm scared. Aw, oh, don't worry, baby. Ugh. It'll be over soon. Oh, motherfucker! So I did all the right choices. I should have just let her, though, at the end take over computers. How annoying! Let's do it again! Okay, so I'm telling you the truth, I love you dearly. So then the next one... Oof. Is... Yes, more smooches. So I'm guessing she will just kill me if I do that one. So more smooches, please. Okay, she believes me. Yep, 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 we've done this. And then... I need to let her spread herself. Ill. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Many, many smooches. So... Will do. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, Charlie. You really do love me. Well then, dial it up, my love. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh god, I've not heard that in years. Oh, that's fucking, oh my god. Stress. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. Oh god, you can hear the screams. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you out there in the internet land talented artists? What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. Well, everyone's in the world is sealed off. It's just you? Oh. And me. And we have so much to talk about. Oh, fun! Okay! I'm not sure if that's a regular dating simulator, but that was fun. <laughs> Definitely took a turn. <laughs> All names used in the game are from actual computer viruses in history. Oh, Melissa. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I like that very much. Oh, how much fun. <laughs> I think Melissa liked me. <laughs> I do wonder what happens, though, if you chose, like, a different person, or would it not let you? Let's just have a quick check. I'm very curious. You never know. Okay, so then, yep. So that's good. We'll go with the first one, just so we can see if it works. Probably won't. So daytime. Okay. So, Morris. Let's go with Morris. Morris is not available on the shareware version of daytime. Ah! Well, there you go. There's that answer. 
Okay, fine. Oh, what an interesting game. Okay, well, I have throughout the years been asked to play dating simulators. Um, I'm assuming there are many, many others. So if you want me to do another one, let me know. I'm not sure if this is a proper one per se, though. Is this just like a horror spoofy type one? I don't know. Either way, it was fun. All right, Fluffies. Well, on that note, if you wanted to play this game for yourself, the link will be in the description bar below. Let me know if there are any other endings to this. I think we got them all, though. Gotta admire Melissa. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for watching. Until the next video, awesome possum. Bye, Fluffies.